Math 31, welcome to example four. We're gonna do the same type of thing we did in example three. We're gonna simplify this into one single logarithm or condense it. Now before I start adding or, or adding these logarithms using um, the product property or the quotient property, I have to handle the fact that I've got these coefficients in front of these terms first. So the first thing I wanna do is actually use the power property and turn these back into exponents. So the first thing I want to do is keep this as ln5, but I want to make this ln of x to the 0.5 power. All right, there was no coefficient in front of here, so I'll just leave this as ln of 7x minus 1. But here, I want to send the exponent back up to x minus 1 cubed. Because in order to use the product and quotient properties, these, these logarithms shouldn't have coefficients in front of them. They should just have ones or negative ones. All right, so now all of my coefficients are ones, or in this case, a negative one. Let's combo these two. I see two logarithms being added, so I'm allowed to condense the, these two logarithms by making an argument of products, right? That's the product rule. Okay, I'll have my minus ln 7x minus 1 plus ln of x minus 1 cubed. All right, now I'm going to combo these two. I see their subtraction. So I'm going to use the quotient property. So I'm going to do ln of 5x to the 1 half power over 7x minus 1 plus I've still got ln of x minus 1 cubed. All right, I see I have two logarithms being added. And yes, it's natural log, but that's okay. That's, that's perfectly fine. That's still log base e. So I'm going to use now the product property this will be ln, and on my numerator, I'm going to have 5x to the 0.5 power. I will also have my x minus 1 cubed, and then I will have my 7x minus 1 down here on the denominator. And if it's helpful, you could make these brackets if you don't want to have parentheses inside of parentheses. All right, when I think of my cut to the chase version, <clears throat> here's what I think of. Anything that has a positive coefficient, all right, and that's this term, this term, and this term, they're going to go in the numerator. So I can see this is going to be ln, and in my numerator, I'm going to have 5. Here I'm going to have x to the 0.5, and here I'm going to have x minus 1 cubed, all right, and then in my denominator would be anything that was subtracted. So once you get more comfortable with these logarithms, you can just take that expression and cut to the chase. Just condense it in one step. If that doesn't work for you, then by all means condense it in multiple steps. Again, we want you to get to the right answer. Whether it takes you a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, eh, we just want the right answer. All right, so with that, we're gonna try condensing these logarithms uh, a few more times out. All right, I'll see you in a bit.